So this is my first very long overdue video of 2024 and buckle up because it's going to be a long one. So my little buddy Qua lives in New York City and I finally got the chance to go see him. And I gotta say, I took some of my favorite photos I've ever taken on this trip. New York City, man, it is just a magical place that smells like shit. Anyway, on this trip, I decided to bring my trusty X100V and the XF10 as a backup. to Newark and I took the train into the city and once I was there I got my bearings with the XF10 and some black and white JPEGs. Switched over to the X100V and I met up with the legend himself, Qua, and we hit the town, baby.
Later that night, we met up with Qua's lady friend, and we got some dinner. I have absolutely no footage from this night for some reason, other than this CVS we went into, and it looks like an old church or something. It was crazy. But here are some shots from that night. The next day was pretty interesting because I was going to get cut loose on my own. We started out the day in Central Park, a place I could easily spend all day, and once again I warmed up with the XF10. This Apple store on 5th Avenue is an absolute gold mine. All the mirrors and reflections and people. It makes me want to bring like a fisheye or a super wide angle lens in there to really play with.
This next photo here is one of my favorites from the trip. I ducked under this awning for a little while and just waited and I used the clutch built-in ND on the X100V, really slowed my shutter speed and got this shot. I love the motion blur in this shot and the guy standing still with all the people passing by and the cab coming through on the right. I think it came out really good. This picture here is another one of my favorites from the trip. Another one of the clutch things that the X100V has is the built-in flash. So I set the flash to second curtain sync and I used a really slow shutter speed. Got this shot. my way to the World Trade Center area where the light was getting really good. Some of these shots here are JPEGs with this Fujika half recipe that I found on the internet. I will link the recipe below if you're interested. I really like the photos of this family here. The first one, all three faces are obscured in like different ways, and in the second one, only the mom is visible. It was a cool moment. hopped on a ferry to cross the river over into Dumbo.
Jesus. Like, it was just like pure chaos. We have like music and like every, like you basically like the thing is they play a song every once in a while. Yeah. And you, you, do, you get on the table and dance and you wrap your napkin. And you, that you, sounds like ridiculous. You, no, it's fucking scary. <laughs> but I took like, to go to Adorama. They were definitely closed despite Google saying they were open. I don't know where I'm gonna go now. I'm just uh, exploring, but the weather is amazing. Nice to use the light. Last day in New York. I'm saying this, but I'm gonna go to Times Square. Yeah. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go to Times Square. I really didn't. I hate Times Square. But if you want shots of people with good lighting and you want them to be unique, Times Square is kind of a must. <laughs> at the time but this guy here is Billy D on Instagram I'm a huge fan of his if I had known it was him I probably would have said hello to him but I didn't at the time It got pretty wild. A few people got mad that I took their picture, but uh, I think I ended up with some real gems. This was a street photography trip for the books, man. I got some of my favorite shots that I've ever gotten streetwise. I'm inspired. It's so cheap for me to fly up to New York. I should do it a lot more often than I think I'm going to. And I 
can't wait till the next time I do. There's some new work from this trip put up on the print shop, so definitely check that out, linked below. So if you made it this far into the video, you are an absolute champ. Thank you, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.